Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. You're watching Project Dark Knight Horror and I am your host, The Dark Knight. Today we're going to be focusing on ghosts, poltergeists and demons. We're going to take another trip into the world of the paranormal. If you've been watching Project Dark Knight Horror then you'll know what this channel is all about. If you've got paranormal problems then this is the right place for you to get some answers. Whether you're dealing with ghosts, poltergeists or demons, I can help you figure out what it is and what not to do if you want the activity to cease. But remember, this isn't a quick fix. This takes time. Also, if I can't help you, we as a community have mediums, psychics and demonologists in the comments. So, what are you waiting for? Join the community here at Project Dark Knight. It's that time again. So close the door, shut the curtains and turn off the lights and go full screen as we get ready to watch shocking videos that prove 100% ghosts wanna hurt you. The Haunting of Mario Lara. For my first one, we're going back a few years. Now, I know some of you would have already known about Mario Lara and his haunting in Mexico, but what Mario Lara went through deserves a spot on Project Dark Knight and I'm always looking to extend my paranormal portfolio. So, if you'll be so kind to put up with me, then I'll begin. This is Mario Lara, who owns and runs a shop in Mexico. It's always been his dream to own his own business. His small but modest shop sells all kinds of things from household supplies and sweets and food to toiletries. His biggest selling point is piñatas. He sells all kinds and shapes. And this is where his dream turned into a nightmare. The haunting of Maria Lara's party store began with a possessed piñata called Moana. Every morning when entering the store, Mario would find it thrown in different locations. Soon thereafter, Mario and other staff began to find long strands of black hair all over his party supplies and none of his staff had hair that long. Then weird things started happening at the store. So, he set up cameras and motion detectors all over the building in the hopes of catching something on film that would explain what's been going on. What he captured on film filled him with dread and he mentions a number of times he wishes he never started this. Mario's haunting is now known worldwide and thousands of people flock to his tiny store every year to see him and hopefully to catch a glimpse of the supernatural. So far, no one has been able to debunk these videos and they all have a creepy vibe to them. Mario has opened his store to the public and to paranormal investigators in the hopes of getting some answers. Eh, anda, les voy a mandar este video porque estoy dándome cuenta que... ¡Ay, joder! ¡Hijo de la chingada! ¿Ya vieron? Ahí a ver si quedó grabado eso. Ahí vieron cómo se aventó la puerta. Esas son las cosas que pasan aquí a veces. Ahí está la moana. Ahí está la moana y es lo que les digo, se avientan las cosas. Ah, pero no está, no está tirada ni nada. Hijo de su madre, trae la piel chinita, eh. No, pues no. Está cabrón. Esperaba que, esperaba que me hicieran, hubieran hecho una broma. 
No, anda, pues vámonos mejor. Puta cabrón, aquí. Mario Lara's Facebook post started in October 2020, showing a piñata called Moana. No one knew what this meant, apart from close family and friends. But it all became apparently clear when he posted this video. The clip you are watching is of the storefront, and in the middle is a pile of piñatas. The sound you can hear is a clock ticking near the mic, and boxes and objects are moving around and being dragged all around. The lights keep turning off and on. Now, focus on the piñatas. A horrifying face appears in between the pile of piñatas and you can see the long straggly black hair that Mario has been finding all over his store. This is the point in the story where things got really bad for Mario. On the 21st of October 2020, Mario opened the store just like he always did. But on arrival, he tried turning on the lights, but to no avail. So he went towards the fuse box to see if the power breaker had been tripped. That's when he heard strange noises coming from the back. And this is what he posted to Facebook. Ya no está la... Ya no está la... Estamos la veladora por cuestiones de seguridad. Y pues, todo normal. Nadie me quiso acompañar. As Mario notices something watching him from the shadows, he instinctively runs just as the sound of a giggling child is heard. If you look carefully and slow down the film, you can see the resemblance of the faces. You can also see its hands as it holds onto the wall. This is more than just a mask. Two weeks later, on the 4th of November, Mario CCTV captured some poltergeist activity in his store. Things were indeed getting worse. If you analyze this short clip, it's like something is moving from right to left as it knocks down items as it moves past. Then, one day, as Mario was walking in the store, something happened that shocked him and his viewers on Facebook. A drill can be seen turning itself on 
as Mario walks over it. Then, it completely turns around all by itself and points towards Mario. Now that wouldn't be surprising by itself, but if you look carefully, you'll notice that the drill isn't even plugged in. By now, it's become apparent to Mario and his viewers that he has an entity in his store. He can't explain the strange events that have been happening, coupled with the CCTV footage and the images. He comes to the conclusion that he has an entity attached to the piñata he calls Moana. He tries to douse it with holy water while praying. He also leaves it surrounded by candles to ward off evil spirits. But it didn't work. If anything, it made it worse. Watch. Mario was at the end of his tether. He was scared to be in the store alone and the activity was now getting worse. He reached out on Facebook for help and a shaman called Alberto answered his call. He told Mario he would take the piñata off his hands and he sent him coordinates where to leave the doll. After getting rid of the piñata, things didn't get any better. Apparently, according to Mario, things got worse and the activity started happening daily. A television in the back started turning itself on and voices started coming through the static. This had never happened before. As you can see, he pulled out the plug out of the socket, but to his amazement, it turned itself back on again. Paso. ¿Estás ahí? ¿Me quieres decir algo? ¿Estás ahí? Hijo de su puta madre. ¿Qué quieres? ¿Qué? ¿Qué quieres? Then, Mario became the target. He woke up one day with a bloody nose and marks around his eyes. He couldn't remember what happened that night. Later the same day, Mario was in the store holding his beloved cat when he was attacked. This time, it was captured on camera. Watch. Watch in slow motion as Mario's middle finger on his left hand is unexplainably bent backwards. It hurts him so much he drops his cat. Now Mario takes in stray cats and that particular cat is his favourite. No way he would risk hurting his cat for a fake. By getting rid of the doll, 
the activity got so bad that Mario had no choice but to get the piñata back. He hadn't slept for six days and his nose was now bleeding. So, eventually, after a lot of messaging from Mario to Alberto and some on Facebook, Alberto finally agreed to leave the piñata at the same location. This is the live feed that Mario aired to Facebook. Watch. Está muy feo el camino, aquí ya se está poniendo más feo. Muy solo. Pero de aquel lado de de aquel lado se ven un poco de luces, entonces yo espero que por que no esté así todo el camino. Bueno, vamos a ver ahorita. Quisiera ver que oigo ruidos, pero no sé si es mi imaginación. No, oh, no, no, me malvibro bien machiné, sentí como que alguien me estaba siguiendo. Pero me malvibro. Está bien. Está bien gacho. Está bien empinado. Ahí está. Ahí está. Finally, with the piñata back in his possession, Mario returned home. But it didn't go so well. Mario kept hearing voices coming from the back of the car, and he kept seeing something in the rearview mirror. So he turned his camera so everyone who was watching live could see. Cries can be heard coming from the back of the car. Suddenly, out of nowhere, something appears behind Mario. It looks like a figure. You can even see the face. Está casi imposible de pasar. <laughs> Horrified, Mario looked back. What he saw made him lose control of his car and he crashed into a wall. Even though it wasn't a major crash and Mario came out of it without being hurt, what he saw that night done more damage to him mentally. That night, cold and scared, Mario ran to get help. Finally, the next day, Mario had the piñata back in his shop and he hoped that the activity would calm down and he could get some much needed sleep. But unfortunately for Mario, things were not that easy. He was working on the computer one night on the 21st of December 2020 when he heard banging coming from the back of the store. Watch. <laughs> Estoy nervioso el gato. Espérate, espérate, espérate. Ay, espérate, espérate. Espérate. Espérate, espérame. Ven.
Espérame, 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 espérame. So after all the problems Mario has had, he finally agreed to getting the paranormal investigator into his shop. Now most people believed Mario Lara's haunting was real, but then some people would say Mario was faking it just to drum up business to his store. So the investigator arrived and after the initial baseline test, the investigator settled in for the night to see if he'd experience anything paranormal. Well, he wouldn't have to wait long while he was asleep on the couch, this happened. Watch. The investigator got up and checked to make sure that there were no wires or strings and after an extensive search he found that everything was the way he'd left it. So after moving the TV back later that night the investigator was playing some games on a console that he brought with him. Unknown to him at the time someone else was interested. As the paranormal investigator was concentrating on his gaming something else was concentrating on him. Amazingly, the spirit of a child can be seen creeping out and watching the investigator. He has absolutely no idea what is happening until he played it back. The child looks almost see-through and it moves at a rate of speed which is impossible for a human. This film is not sped up. The video is playing at normal speed. So, is this the spirit of a child or a demon? Mimicking one, you decide.
there's somebody at the door. Moving on to something a bit quicker is the TikTok channel known as Apt133, Apartment133. Now, he only has two videos to his name, but these two videos have been viewed millions of times. And because of the intensity of the activity, he decided to stop recording. To this day, he still has activity in his home, but he refuses to acknowledge it. I don't blame him. Watch. I literally hate you, bitch. How the fuck do you expect to make money, Julie, if you don't like to work? Julie, my door just fucking opened. What? No, stop. What the fuck? What the fucking fuck? Bitch, it's not even that late. Kevin's not home from work yet. What the hell? My god. What the fucking- oh. No. Oh! No. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What the f- Julie. You're fucking lying. You're fucking lying. Oh! No. 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 What the f- The second clip is a lot more frightening. So, they decide to use a widgie board and ask, is anyone there? Suddenly, they get their answer. Listen for the footsteps. Is anybody there? Is anybody there? What the fuck is that? What the fuck? No. Jacob, we have to get out. We no have to get out. Is anybody there? Is anybody there? What the fuck is that? What the fuck? No. Jacob, we have to get out. We have no to get out. The Red Room. Martin Navejas is a photographer and the video I'm about to show you was part of his tour of an abandoned church. Now, he's got a YouTube channel which is quite small and only has five videos and the video I'm about to show you has the most views. In the basement of the church, there's a room he calls the Red Room where he likes to sit and think because apparently during the day, the sunlight shines through the glass giving the room a red colour, hence the name, The Red Room. When the video was filmed, he was wrapping up and went downstairs to collect his stuff. But this time, his torch shone on a figure in the dark. He instinctively turns off his torch. A few seconds later, he turns it back on again. To his horror, this happened. Watch. Part three of my favorite place to shoot. It's a little dark outside. It's, it's pretty cloudy. It's rained all day today. I'm going to show you guys my favorite place to go. Downstairs in what I call the red room. The red room is a place I go once I'm done shooting for the day. Just to kind of look at pictures, see if I need to retake anything, re-edit anything. I'll show you why it's called the red room. It's pretty cool. Because usually I'm going to the basement. When you turn the light off during the day, it's got a nice tint of a uh, nice tint of red. I'll show you. It's a little dark now, but can't see. Come down here; it's peaceful. It's quiet. Oh, shit! 
shit, 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 shit. Oh my god. Really Haunted We're back with Lee from the Paranormal YouTube channel Really Haunted. In my last video, I showed you how strong the entity has got in Lee's home. Unfortunately, Lee's wife Stacy was the target. As she slept, the entity crept in and pulled her out of her bed. Then, later, a hoover was captured on film levitating for a few seconds. The next day, as Lee was asleep, the entity made himself known again by turning on the taps. Just before the taps are turned on, you can see an orb fly straight down. The orb moves straight down in a line, then the taps are turned on. Lee didn't know anything about the taps until the next morning when he woke up. Recently, Stacy and the kids have been sleeping in the caravan and Lee has been sleeping on the couch downstairs by himself. While Lee was asleep, the entity decided to play more mind games with him. As Lee is woken up, he calls the entity a coward three times and all three times, Lee gets a reaction. Watch. Show yourself. Show yourself to that camera. Stand in front of it. Stop making the noise. Show yourself. Don't be a coward. Do that again. Move that table again. 
just done it, do it again. Now I'm looking. Come on, show me your power. You're a coward. Well, you don't like that word, do you? That's twice now. Show yourself to me. Let me see you with my eyes. I want to know who you are. Why you're here. All you do is try to scare us. But I can never see you. That's what I call a coward. Fucking hell. Three times. That's like a trigger word. I will be keeping a close eye on Lee and if he has any more paranormal attacks I'll be sure to let you know. Or you can easily jump over to his channel. He could really do with your support. Stacy, Lee and the kids are going through something that most of you will be lucky enough to never experience in your life. And I know by subscribing to his channel and sending some love and good vibes his way that would really comfort the family. The name of his channel is called Really Haunted. Before we get to the last story, if you've seen something creepy or amazing or you've captured something on film or you're a paranormal investigator, send it in to Project Dark Knight Horror. You never know, you might just see your video on the channel. All names and videos and channels will be fully credited on screen. Thank you. He's watching you. My final story is about a young man called Daniel who is a student and currently lives alone. He's filmed seven videos in total and put them all on his TikTok channel at Domadios. Now, I've read the comments and some people think that this is fake. To be honest, no matter what happens there will always be a certain number of people that think it's fake. But I'll leave it up for you to decide. Frankly, if this is fake, it's a really good one. If you're familiar with my channel, you'll know all about shadow figures. They've appeared in multiple hauntings all over the world. And this haunting is just like that. I'll play the videos in order. Watch. Guys, like, what the heck? I'm home alone right now. I'm literally, like, shaking right now. And my door keeps on moving by itself. There's, like, no windows open or nothing. And I'm definitely home alone. Like... What the? Oh my, what the fuck? Hello? Hello? Is anybody in here? What in the heck? Hello? I swear you bet. What the fuck? Hello? You better not be prank pranking me right now. Guys, you literally will not believe this. I literally just had that, that door thing happening. And now I have that happening. There is nobody in there. And now I have my freaking lights going on and off when I'm trying to sleep. This is absolutely ridiculous. This has been happening for the past five minutes. And like, how is anybody supposed to sleep? <gasps> what the?
Hello? Hello? I really don't appreciate this. It needs to stop. Hey guys, just waking up, getting ready for work, and here we go once again. We got this door moving. We got my bathroom door moving. <sighs> hey, st please stop, spirits. Please. <sighs> I'm actually, like, honestly scared to go check right now because what if something's like. Oh my. Oh. Please stop. Please. <sighs> Hello? Like I thought. Please stop. This is enough. This is enough. Hey guys, so I just got home from work. And I was reading through your comments. Of course I already got this happening. Got this door creaking. Moving once again. Stop. I said stop. Kitty? Kitty? Stop. I said stop. What the hell? Put me on the door. Spirits, this is enough. I said stop. Enough is enough. Okay. I said stop. Now this is the video that got the most amount of views and attention on social media. So Daniel apparently woke up and saw a solid mass watching him, but he realized it was moving slightly. So he calmly started recording. Only when he started getting up did the entity flee into the cupboard. Now people are saying that this is fake, but to be honest with you, I don't think this is. I think this is just some guy who's recording paranormal activity that's happening in his flat. He's obviously not a paranormal investigator. And when you've just woken up to this, you're not really thinking straight. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think this is real or do you think this is fake? If you've reached the end, then I salute you. You're a true fan of horror. So remember, if you're interested in ghosts, poltergeist or demons, cursed objects, torture methods or random nautica, serial killers, true crime or dark mysteries, then Project Dark Knight is the channel for you. I've just hit 60,000 subscribers and I never thought I'd ever be this lucky. For a long time, I didn't get any views and there was a part of me that almost gave up. But I didn't. I carried on and when I hit those low times, only one thing kept me going. It was you, all of you, the comments, the love, the messages, I owe it all to you. I can never fully repay you, my faceless friends, but I can promise you to always be here and to reply to the comments and to always try my best at making videos. I started Project Dark Knight to help people and it's nothing without you. So please click subscribe, share the videos and join the project here on YouTube and on the Facebook group because Project Dark Knight is a community and it needs you. You've been watching Project Dark Knight Horror and I am the Dark Knight signing off. Peace! Don't ever laugh
life as the years goes by for you. Maybe the next to die, they wrap you up in a big white sheet from your head down to your feet.